Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new, welcome. And for those that continue to support me, thank you so much. Today I'm going to attempt to do my third Halloween makeup tutorial. <sighs> yes, I got a raise for this. I don't know what to call it yet and I haven't practiced at all. I'm going to attempt to do a mixture of candy, skull blood and I don't know what I'm going to be calling this tutorial and it's gonna have like glitter as well so let's see so just please bear with me so if you guys aren't interested please keep watching so I'm gonna be using my sea breeze just to clean off my face so I can start with this whole makeup stuff so I just want to kind of clean off, make sure that anything is off my face. Next, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Ebony. And I'm just filling in my brows with this product. Then I'm going to go in and conceal my brows with LA Girls. Pro Concealer in Pure Beige, and this is just shaping my brows the way I want them to be. Now I'm going in with my Mayra Makeup Palette, and I'm creating this circle around the eyes. Because girls do have this weird shaped circle, um, I decided to do that to my eyes. Um, but I'm actually looking like Spider-Man. Can you guys tell? But no, this this look is not for Spider-Man, okay? This look is not Spider-Man. Now I'm going in with the white from the same palette and I'm just kind of defining my cheekbones because I want this sculpt to look halfway from the face, not fully. So I just decided to do with the defining the cheekbones and just painting my whole top forehead, bridge of my nose, white. I am so concentrated in this look that my eyes are like, whoa, seriously. So I'm going to start with the eyes and I'm going to go in with the LA Pro Concealer. And I'm gonna apply it all over around the eye because the makeup is gonna go on top of that. Starting with Kylie Jenner's bronze palette and I'm going in with really light brown. And then I went in and I jumped into the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette and I went in with the orange and then I applied the pink to create this look more pinky-ish. I went back with Kylie Jenner's palette and I started adding brown into the outer areas of the eye and under the eye as well. This is going to create a dark, pinkish, I don't know what to call it, but yeah. I'm going back with the Pro Concealer and I am making a cut crease on these eyes. I'm 
going in with the brown again to create an ombre effect and then I went in with the Morphe palette 35B and I applied that soft pretty pink color that you guys see there and then my eyeliner that by the way I'm using wet and wild and then I added some glitter because I love glitter in my life and as well on my brows. Now I'm blending my forehead with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in light to medium and I'm just kind of blending it just to add some color up in my forehead. Now I'm giving this look a little bit of contour because you want it to look realistic than non-realistic. So I went in with Anastasia Beverly Hills like a uh, contour kit, light to medium, and I'm just applying it under my cheekbones. And I'm doing a pretty little part. Now I'm creating teeth strokes, kinda, and just making them look like teeth. And I'm using the Wet n Wild Black Eyeliner. And then I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Palette. And I went in with the pink and just making an ombre-ish look on the lips. Now it's time to create these bones. So I'm using the Mayron palette and I'm just making them look like bones, but they're huge, so why not? And guys, I do have something under there, okay? Don't think that I'm not wearing anything, because I am. I don't want my boobies exposed. Now I started sponging my bones. I found this so much easier, and me, like an idiot, was doing it with a brush. This whole time I could have done it with a sponge and I was like this is like the easiest thing ever like what the hell but it got the look done all right now I am starting to create my circles because they are going to be lollipops this was my first time ever doing this guys like I've never done it before and I was so happy that it came out okay and not looking like crap because I would have been so upset but guys it came out super cool like I've never thought that this would not come out like this way but it did and I was so happy like I just wanted to cry and be like yeah Okay, now I'm starting to do the fruity mints, and they're looking so cool. Like, oh my god. Like, ah, oh, 
I'm so obsessed. Like, I, guys, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I am super obsessed with this look. Like, I had it planned out in my head, but I've never, like, kind of draw it out or thought of how it was gonna come out. But I'm, like, obsessed. I'm sorry that I'm, like, obsessed. All right, now I'm starting with the other side, and I am doing my lollipops. And I'm just kind of going in circles with different colors and creating colors, as you guys can see. And, yeah. So I started making dots on the bone area just to make it look like very fruity and stuff like that. So that's what I did with the bone area, just adding different colors and why not? And I'm gonna go in my lashes and I am using the Icona lashes. It's called about last night they're very floppy and huge and long and i'm obsessed with the lashes they are pretty heavy though but they're very very dramatic which i love about these lashes i'm going in with vampire blood purchased at walmart and i'm sorry that i'm blocking you guys uh i'm using this tiny little mirror so please don't mind and I'm going in with my wig. So, guys, I have to tell you. My best friend named this wig. And I started cracking up because it was so funny. And you guys won't believe what name he named it. And he named it Shanene. So, guys, just for him, today I am Shanene. Shanene girl. And this is the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, give it a thumbs up, and comment down below on what you guys thought of this look. And I'll see you until next time. Bye!